Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Wednesday, November 27th, 2019. We usually wait another day for this, but it is Football Wednesday at DocSports.com because on Thursday it's Thanksgiving and we have about three NFL games on Thursday. We've got the Egg Bowl going between the Mississippi State Bulldogs, the Mississippi Rebels, all that kind of good stuff. So Football Wednesday for us and for you over at DocSports.com if you wish to partake. And that means all of our football plays will be posted to Today, Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific for this week's card. I've been raring to go since Monday. Can't wait to get into this card. Uh, we are now at 66% winners, 25 and 13 with a couple of ties over the past five weeks, now going into six weeks in college and NFL football combined. Had another winning week this past weekend. It was capped off by the six unit winner in the NFL with Tampa Bay uh, crushing Atlanta 35 22 outright as an underdog. And again, 25 and 13, couple of ties, 66% against the spread the last five weeks. 10 and 3 over the last two weekends in college and pro football combined. This is off of last year being number one in college football combined. Took us a little bit longer to get going this year, but we're red hot now. I've got a seven unit play going this weekend in college football. I've got a six unit play going in the NFL. And again, it'll all be available today, Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific time. So go grab all the plays for the weekend. Also wanted to mention, thanks for those who jumped on board last night. We had a rare seven unit play in the NHL. We're on a red hot NHL. NHL run, tell you about that in a second. But that seven unit NHL play won easily, blowout fashion. The Boston Bruins crushed Montreal eight to one, and it was basically over from the start as the Boston Bruins just put one on Montreal. Uh, but that means we are now 49 and 27 with our NHL October November run going back to last year. We are 63% winners in the NHL this season overall. Don't miss out because on Wednesday, I do have a seven unit play in the NHL, decent sized card, and I've got one play on Wednesday night that rates seven unit status. We look to make it 2-0 in two nights with these plays and take that run to 50-27 and 27 in the NHL. Again, don't miss out. That play in the NHL, by the way, will be available Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, same time as our NBA. We passed on Tuesday's NBA. There was only a couple of games, but we got a whole bunch of games going on Wednesday. I've already capped the card. We've got a play for Wednesday. It'll be available at 1 p.m. Eastern time. College basketball at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. I did lose last night in college baskets after winning on Monday. Let's get right back in the win column on Wednesday. So a big card, seven unit play, gets everything going with Wednesday's NHL. And of course, college of pro football available 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific today, Wednesday over at DocSports.com. All right, let's get to the free pick for Wednesday. And by the way, real quick programming note, I will be right back here earlier than normal Wednesday night, no later than 10 p.m. Pacific at the very latest. Uh, so we can get you a report for, th for Thursday for Thanksgiving Day and get you a free play from Thursday's card. Be about 10 p.m. Pacific at the latest uh, tonight, Wednesday night. Let's get to the free pick. Uh, for Wednesday, we're going to turn to NBA action. Uh, Minnesota's at San Antonio, San Antonio, and I don't care what Greg Popovich has been able to talk to his team about, how he's trying to motivate them in the locker room. They are still playing very little defensive basketball. Uh, we gave out a free play on the under between the Lakers and the Spurs the other night. It won by a couple of baskets, uh, but here's the thing. That had more to do with the way the Lakers play on the defensive end than it did on with San Antonio, and now they're playing Minnesota. They're hosting Minnesota. That totals right around 220. 29. I think it goes over the total again, folks. I mean, you look at the Spurs. They've been at or near the bottom of the league in defensive efficiency this entire season. They're like 27th in the league. Minnesota's better on the defensive end, but not by great shakes. Nothing to write home about. They're middle of the pack. However, having said that, the Spurs are actually the fifth best team in offensive efficiency. They're tied with the Lakers for number five in the league in offensive efficiency. I think the lack of defense is going to help Minnesota's offense. The lack of the Spurs being able to play defense for an entire four quarters. And San Antonio is going to be fine on the offensive end for the most part. Hey, listen, Coach Pop is finding out, man. You don't have a, a group of all-stars, two or three all-stars, both talent-wise and between the years. Life gets a little bit tougher as an NBA coach. And, and that's what's going on right now with the Spurs. And it's especially hurting them on the defensive end. We're going to play, uh, recommend a play on the T-Wolves and the Spurs to go over the total on uh, Wednesday's basketball card. 
Again, right now that totals right around 228.5 to 229. We're okay up to 231. That's what we rated this. So again, we recommend a free play. T Wolf Spurs over, and we can play it up to 231. Cutting this video right now, you've still got about two and a half points of wiggle room to play with. All right, that's gonna do it for us for Wednesday. Again, we'll be right back here Wednesday night, no later than 10 p.m. Pacific, with Thursday's report, a free play from Thursday's card. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites or Docs. Sports.com. Let's put Wednesday in the win column right back here late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning with our next report.